Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we need to find the value of x and y, and we need to use the figure below. And if you notice here, we, I mentioned something that is called vertical angles. We have something that we call them here vertical angles, this angle and these angles. These angles are congruent. So I'm going to write a statement here, an equation, 5y minus 3 equals 4x plus 24, right? If they are congruent, the measure is the same, and the measure of this angle is 5y minus 3 and 4x plus 24. Similar, we can do the same thing for these two angles, which are also vertical angles. They are congruent. 8y minus 12 equals 10x minus 12. And we can solve this system of equation. However, in this situation, we have something that we I think fits us better is this uh, property linear pair we do also have what we call linear pair and we have this angle 4x plus 24 for example and 10x minus 12 if you notice they if we add these two angles we get this line okay and 10x minus 12 and these two angles are supplementary so instead of solving a system of equation we're going to solve an equation in x here and how we're going to solve that we're going to combine the like terms here 4x and 10x that will be 14x 24 but uh, positive 24 minus 12 that will be plus 12 equals 180 subtract 12 So we have 14x equals 168, and the last step, divide by 14, both sides, and we end up with x of 12. So we find x, we need to find y. How are we going to find y now? We're going to use a similar approach, just two different angles. Now we're going to look to... Uh, this angle, which is 8a minus 12, 8y minus 12, I'm sorry. And this angle, which is 5y minus 3. Both those two angles form a line, right? And they are supplementary. Okay. So we're going to have, we're going to combine the y's, 5y plus 8y, that is 13y, negative 12, minus 3, that is minus 15, equals 180. We're going to add 15. And we have 13y equals 195, divide by 13. And we have an y of uh, 15. Okay, and that's it of this problem. So again, if you want to approach the problem using system of equation, more than welcome, but I think it's better to look to these angles as uh, linear pairs instead of vertical angles. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.